Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here. And what you see before you is my Engelhard bar collection. This is a video response to Golden Arms, and I will post a link to his original challenge video in the description below. So what you see before you is a collection of bars. Most of them have been amassed uh, several years ago. By years, I mean decades. And uh, I basically stacked these bars and have since really kind of stopped acquiring them. But this is my collection of Engelhard bars. And this first one is a 100-ounce silver bar. Very, very nice. Appears to be have been sort of a polished with a sort of texture there, struck there. And then the rest of these here that you see here in front of you are the low-style pieces, 10-ouncers. And there you can see where they have they've been sort of extruded out there on the sides, giving that sort of unique texture there. And in the back of this one, you can see an imprint of a stamping from uh, from another bar. It's very strange. I'm not sure how that happened. There must have been a one below it when it was stamped, or something to that effect. Not sure exactly, but here's another one. Most of them have these smooth backs, the very sharp edges there, but very very nice bars. Probably my favorite. And then here we have a uh, struck or pressed 10 ounce bar. And none of these are terribly uncommon. It has sort of a textured blank back there. Very, very nice. And then here we have one in its original packaging. So we have one that's nice and shiny and in original condition from the time it left the factory or the mint from which it was struck. And here we have another longer with the big E style 10 ounce bar with a spot there that you see in the upper right hand corner. Very, very nice in its original packaging. And the reverse here we see that it has the four repeater Engelhard logos. I think that's my only flat long bar that I have of Engelhard because I tend to go for the thicker and chunkier bars for these pieces. Then here we have some 5 ounce loaf style with the smooth backs. And again, these are ones that I have uh, uh, just acquired mainly because I just like the looks of them. And here we have the 5 ounce struck bar in original packaging. Very, very nice indeed. Happy to have acquired these over the years. And those have three repeater Engelhard logos on the reverse of those. And I have a number of those that I've stacked over sometime. I have actually seen some of the waffle backs and just have not purchased them. Uh, those poured styles, I tend to like the low style better. And I know that the waffle backs, I think, have a premium tied to them. Nonetheless, as we go through the collection here, it's about 200 ounces of bars there in the 10 ounce and 5 ounce size. And here's a closer look. You can see the, the nitty-gritty silver as it's been tarnished over the years. A lot of these were bought that way, but some of them have tarnished in storage. I have a massive collection from different uh, places in storage that I keep them separate. Here is another 100-ounce bar. And then here is my platinum 1-ounce, my single Engelhardt platinum 1-ounce bar that I bought quite some time ago from a local dealer and after I had purchased it for about six months afterwards he had been wanting to buy it back for above spot price and I wasn't wanting to sell it. This was my first one ounce platinum bar and it just happens to have been made, a, um, made from Engelhard Corporation. Then here we have the one ounce round collection. Most of these are dated 1985 and uh, which are very very common but beautifully struck a wonderful eagle design on the back of that and the prospector the original prospector silver round by Engelhard and then here we have the E back which was made, made from 1982 to 1984 and then halfway through 1984 they added the eagle to the back and then the only year that they made fractionals was 1985, and I have a roll of, or at least what fits in this particular roll, of the half ounce. And then a select few of the quarter ounce pieces. 
Very, very nice. Again, the only year that they made fractionals, 1985. So I've got a few of those. And then a, a lot of the 10th ounce size. And I remember purchasing these in quantity. Uh, remember it having to dig through some money to get them out because it cost me 90 cents a piece. And at the time, that was a lot of money for me to spill out to, to buy a whole bunch of them. And then I thought I had more one ounce bars, but these are the only two I could find. Here's an Englehard with a blank back. Then here's the Englehard with the Eagle. Very nice. One Troy ounce, 999 fine, with the repeating logo on the back. And I think those are the only two I looked around and couldn't find any more of them. All in all, it's over 425 plus ounces of silver with the Englehard name on it. There's the entire collection there. Um, and again, I've had this stored separate locations, so bringing it out. It's a little bit of a challenge to pull it all together here, but it is kind of nice to, to see all of your silver out. And again, this was uh, the Inglehart bars were my first foray into stacking. This is when I actually started stacking. I've since kind of moved away to more collecting because I felt like I kind of had enough of that kind of silver. And I don't have a whole lot of silver, really, compared to some of the others in the community here. But there it is. I hope you enjoyed. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.